Saturday, FC Cincinnati takes the field for its very first ever MLS regular season game against a very tough team, the Seattle Sounders in Seattle. And that's where my co-anchor Tanya O'Rourke is tonight. Day one in Seattle here is wrapping up, Craig, and I'll tell you what, it was a nice day for the team. They got to relax a little bit, have a little fun. You'll see more of that coming up in sports. But one of the storylines we want you to watch throughout this season is going to be that of Nick Haglin. Nick grew up in Westchester, played soccer at Lakota West, then at Xavier University, and was drafted into the MLS, went off to Toronto. So about a month ago now, FC Cincinnati traded to get him back to his hometown to play for FC Cincinnati, and he could not be happier. Welcome home. Thank you. I appreciate it. How is it to be home? I mean, I can't stop smiling. I'm so excited to be here. I am coming from the from the airport, turning the corner on 71 and seeing the skyline. You know, it's just uh, it's it's cool to be back. It's been a journey for Haglin, who says part of the excitement he's feeling is finally being in the same city as his sister and parents. And not just the same city, hometown, Cincinnati, the best city. Playing in the pros is something Haglin set his sights on when he was at Union Elementary. Take a look at that. How'd you get that? You want to read aloud for me what that <laughs> yeah, is? Yeah, all right. So this is my sixth grade yearbook. It says Nick Haglin and his future plans is to be an MLS player. Dreams really do come true. Exactly. They do. <laughs> Seriously. In my hometown. He also set his sights on the woman he would marry at a very early age. When I was six, she was seven. I, we moved onto the same street as one another. And... <laughs> I had already, I already knew that like I had a little crush on her. And so it happens that your parents, as I understand it, live across the street from, from my your in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, it makes Thanksgiving easy. I, it does, kind of, yeah. So now that Hagland and his family are home, his 11-month-old daughter has plenty of hands to hold her. My daughter's going to be excited. She'll have her grandparents around all the time. Haglin says he'll take his conies with mustard and onions. Thank you very much. As for the team, he says do not count them out. He says it's possible that they could make it into the playoffs. That's what he thinks. But first, they got to start off by playing the Seattle Sounders on Saturday night. Seattle, that's a good team. Papo has more of that coming up in sports, and we will have much more from Seattle throughout the rest of the week. Back to you guys. All right, Tanya, you know he predicted the sixth grade MLS thing and then the girlfriend and everything else. Maybe he's certainly right about the MLS season. We're going to show you more of Tanya's adventure in Seattle coming up in just a little bit.